This is Star Talk. Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I host Star Talk. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Wow, 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 wow! I'm getting it! We should have had private initiatives going to space decades ago. But I'm embarrassed it's taken this long. We've been in space for 50 years. Why is it only just yesterday private enterprise is taking some initiative here? And so I'm disappointed that it's taken this long. That being said, private enterprise will not ever lead a space frontier. Not because I don't want them to, but my read of history, t history tells me they can't. It's not possible. Space is dangerous. dangerous. It's expensive. There are unquantified risks. Combine all of those on one umbrella, you cannot establish a free market capitalization of that enterprise. Who are my investors? I'm not going. What are the risks? I don't know. What will it cost? We haven't figured it out yet. We'll never know. What's the ROI? There isn't one because we've never done it before and we don't know what, what we might find. Those are the kinds of frontiers that the history, that history of governments have undertaken. The first Europeans to the New World were not the Dutch East India Trading Company. It was governments funding government missions. Columbus drew the maps, established where the trade winds were. Where are the hostels? Where are the friendlies? Is there food there? Can you breathe the air? They come back with this information. Then you can establish a capital market valuation. Because now you know there are riches over here, but not there. You can get here by this route, but not that one. Then you can turn it into a profitable enterprise. Then you can establish a capital market valuation. What did SpaceX do? Were they leading the space frontier? No, they're hauling cargo back and forth to the space station. No, NASA should never have been in that business. You don't need astronauts who are highly trained professional spacefarers to be hauling goods back and forth to space. Get SpaceX to do it. The post office, they don't have their own planes, or if they do, it's for trivial things. If they want to move mail across the country, they rent space in the belly of Delta Airlines or, whom, or Mer whomever. The corporation will do it more efficiently, and uh, they don't have to worry about the business model for that. Let somebody else do it. But if you want to move the frontier to a new place, you need the government, especially where space is involved. And once the, once the maps are drawn and the risks are established, then you could farm that off to space to industry. And that's what, should, like I said, should have been happening decades ago.